Now and continuing our climate week coverage and the impacts we're seeing here in the Bay Area and many of us live in areas where it's forecasted we will feel impacts from the rising tides and sea levels. Meteorologist Carrie Hall gives us a visual of what this could look like and the problems higher seas could create. Most of the population in California lives near the coast or bays and like the rest of the world, the landscape is changing over the years due to rising sea levels now up about 10 centimeters since 1993. Now that may not sound like a lot, but this rise is ex expected to accelerate within the century. Some of the factors are ice loss in the Arctic as well as those inland glaciers that are melting quickly and ice sheets that are also melting. Warmer temperatures lead to thermal expansion, where simply warmer water takes up more space. And another factor is extreme weather. Stronger storms cause the water to come farther inland, especially when combined with the king tides, which happened in the winter due to the gravitational pull of the moon, causing those tides to come up higher. Let me show you what future sea level rise could look like for us. By the year 2040, going up almost a half of a foot. And in 2060, another foot. And then by the year 2100, sea level rise may be up over three feet in San Francisco, causing low lying areas like the airport to be underwater and more frequent flooding all around the bay. Meteorologist Brian Garcia has analyzed the sea level rise climate models and talks about the risks. Imagine something like our king tides that we get now. So the king tides are most easily seen in the middle of the, the winter months. So December and even into January, we see some pretty high tides. You can also see them in July, late June and into July, but typically those highest high tides happen overnight when most of us are sleeping. So now imagine those tides becoming somewhat more of the normal tidal range. So now you have a water level that has set up higher than what we have now. And now you're putting the, that wave activity on top of that higher water level. So what that does is it gives more opportunity for those waves to wash farther into land and impact more people as well as infrastructure, homes and businesses. Where we live, where we recreate, where we go to the beach, where um, we go to restaurants, where we just go hang out right up along the water's edge is going to look very different. I'm already starting to think about this. Our communities, some of them are planning for it. And for those of us who have homes in um, areas that are uh, at risk, really need to start preparing now for that future inevitability. This new era of warmer air and ocean temperatures fueling those storms could bring storm surge issues similar to what the East Coast and Gulf Coast residents experience from tropical storms and hurricanes. And this is all due to the climate change. Be sure to check out our coverage of Climate Week online with solutions to reverse this course of a worsening climate. Go to NBCBayArea.com and look for the, the tabs at the top of the page. Now let's check in with Mike for a look at traffic. Yeah.